critical as national asset and infrastructure is among the core mandates of giving to Nigeria a security and civil defense corps to provide 24-hour surveillance on those uh, items. In one of our patrols, we were able to arrest 26 people, 11 adults and uh, 15 teenagers. The ringleader, Sulaiman Abdullah, claimed to be in Kwara State for the past seven years from Kebbi State. All others are from various states, but they are living at Bodesadu. He now invited them, pretending to be doing scavenging work. At the end of the day, this is what they engage in doing. When we busted their hideout, we were able to discover already seven burnt cables, two laptops, one generating set, two panel solar, several handsets, and two of them are at large. They are the ones that were using those bikes. They were arrested at Tanke. And we have to thank everyone. And I've been saying it. When you see something, try to say something. We cannot do it all alone. We want the cooperation of all and sundry. And I'm still seizing this opportunity to assure the citizens of Kwara State that at every point, every hour, we are ready to serve them diligently. All we want from them is their cooperation. And Hamokebu is highly expensive, and not to talk of seven of such and Hamokebu. A length, uh, according to uh, uh, IBEDC, a length. The one centimeter is about uh, seven thousand naira. So when you look at the quantity and and it also depends on the size. When you look at the quantity and the length of all these boys have destroyed, it's running to millions. Is it the solar panel? You go to that uh, uh, the, the the street now. You will see that they have vandalized virtually all the panels. And if you look around into our compound, you will see some of those recovered panels. You can see them. We have recovered about 15. And they are still in our custody. Definitely those areas, uh, Tank, uh, Akata, wherever, and other areas where they have uh, vandalized those products. We now have electricity. And business also will be paralyzed. And cost of living there will be high. Because most of them will be on generating sets, buying fuel. And the, those that are doing uh, other jobs, we have to look for means of uh, providing electricity. And it makes things costlier. Those that are of age among them will definitely go to court. And we will appeal to the governor. The minors among them should be taken back to their states for rehabilitation, which I think the His Excellency will be ready to assist us in doing that. We can't just tolerate criminals coming from federal states to make Quara their abode.